Notice, the rest of the day, church members, live not again until 1,000 years has passed. The church members, the, the Christians, the church, live not again until the end of the thousand years and then they come forth to stand before the bride. Right. Stand before the king and the queen. Glory. Some church today calls herself the queen of heaven. The queen of heaven is the selected bride of Christ. And she comes with him. Daniel saw it and said, ten thousand times ten thousands minister to him. Now if you watch the scripture there in Daniel, judgment was set and the books were open. Now remember, when he come, he come with his bride. The wife ministers to her husband. And ten thousands times ten thousands of thousands minister to him. Judgment was set, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. Yeah. Not the bride at all. She's done gone up and come back. Yeah. And standing there in judgment of those generations that refused the gospel message. Didn't Jesus say the queen of the south shall rise with this generation in her days? of the judgment and will condemn this generation for she came from the utmost parts of the world to hear the wisdom of Solomon and a greater than Solomon is here. There stood the, uh, the judgment, the queen of, uh, of Sheba of the south stood there in the judgment and her own testimony, not even a Jew, came up with that generation that was Jew. And they were blind and missed him because they were looking for him, but he comes so simple that they went plumb on the top of it like that. Amen. And there that great queen humbled herself and come and accepted the message. Amen. And she'll stand in the judgment, he said, and condemn that generation. I see the three classes always, the book, the dead. Was judged down. Another book, the book of life. Them who had their names in the book of life, if your name's in the book of life, it's all right, huh? No, sir. Look, Judas is a carrot, had his name in the book of life. I say that's wrong. Jesus in Matthew 10 gave them power to cast out devils and send them forth to heal the sick and to cleanse the lepers and raise the dead. And they went out and returned back. Judas right with them. And they cast out devils and done all kinds of miracles and returned back and said, even the devils is subject unto us. Jesus said, don't rejoice that the devils is subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And Judas was with them. But what happened? When it come down to the elected group to go up there at Pentecost, and really receive the Holy Spirit, Judas showed his color. He'd be there in the judgment. So the books was open, and the book, the life was open, and every man was judged thus. Now the bride standing there with Christ to judge the world. Don't the Paul say, dare you, talking to the bride, having a, any manner of grievance against each other, that you go to the unjust law? Don't you know the saints shall judge the earth? There you are. The saints is going to judge the earth and take it over. Amen. Right. See, how in the world a little group like that? I don't know how it's going to be done, but he said it's going to be done. So that just settles it as far as I know. I know that. Now, notice the rest of the dead, the church members, dead church members, live not again until a thousand years, and then at the thousand years, they were gathered, another resurrection come, which is second resurrection, and they were gathered, and Christ and the church, the bride, not the church, the bride, 
Christ and the Queen, not the church. Amen. Church Christ and the bride stood there, and they were separated like the sheep from the goats. <laughs> right. There's the church members come up. And if they heard the truth and rejected the truth, then what's going to be said when the big things spread across the canvas when even your own thoughts will be there? Amen. What you thought about. Amen. I go to escape and it right on the canvas of the skies and God's great television. There's your own thoughts rebelling. Right. Your own thoughts will speak against you in that hour. So if you speak one thing and think another, you better stop that. Get your thoughts on God. Keep us pure and stay right there with it and speak the same thing all the time. Don't say, well, I'll say I believe it, but I'll go find out. You believe it. 